This is one of the many briefings that my department hosts as, as part of sharing information on the work that we do uh, abroad and what our foreign policy uh, is saying about uh, that work. Uh, in most cases, uh, we have a foreign policy that must link to our interest, uh, local interests that are drawn in the NDP, uh, which is National Development Plan. And my department through South African foreign policy undertaking seeks to build partnership that create opportunities uh, to address our challenges, as you know, challenges of poverty, unemployment, and inequality in line with our NDP. Um, today's briefing uh, will focus on our preparation for FOCAC, which is the Africa-China Forum, um, the Indian Ocean uh, Rim Association, which uh, I just arrived from Mauritius attending that, and our visit to Iran and, and Bangladesh, which are part of the countries that we, we have a relationship with. Um, Around FOCAC, we, we preparing to host the second forum of China-Africa Cooperation Summit, as was recently announced by our minister and her Chinese counterpart recently on the sidelines of 70th anniversary of the Second World War. Preparations are taking place in consultation with the government uh, of the people of China African Union Commission in Addis Ababa, um, the African Group of Ambassadors based uh, in Beijing, and our esteemed guest uh, for this will be African governments throughout the continent. And since this is a multilateral forum, business, civil society, academic uh, think tanks and other key role players will be invited. Now already as part of the build up to hosting this FOCAC from today till the 11th, DECO is hosting the FOCAC think tank forum and at a later date a business forum again FOCAC meaning business in Africa and business in China will be interacting uh, in looking at opportunities so that they are able to report when they are, there's a summit uh, in December. And they'll be looking at cooperation on trade and investment opportunities in different countries. The second FOCAC summit follows the African Union uh, that happened, the summit that happened in June and adopted the first 10 year implementation plan agenda uh, for the agenda 2063. Um, so central to this is a development of infrastructure, industrialization and value addition to bolster greater intra-African trade. As, as you know what the, the outcome of the AU summit was. It is expected that FOCAC Summit will adopt a new declaration and plan of action 2016 to 2018. And South Africa is currently engaging all parties in preparing for these two key outcome documents. And surely the briefing uh, again uh, from the department will happen to brief the media accordingly around the, the outcomes. On Ayora, which is ocean economy, last month the Republic of Mauritius hosted the Indian Ocean Rim Association and this was the launch or inaugural meeting for the Ocean Economy Conference. Um, the importance of this 
Ayora is its custodianship um, of the Indian Ocean with its 20 member states, um, which South Africa is one of them. Uh, I think when we talk about Ayora, I'm sure we know what is happening in all other oceans, but uh, in the Indian Ocean, the countries that uh, are connected uh, by the Indian Ocean don't normally know what is happening at the bottom of the Indian Ocean. So some of the things we're discussing here are the expedition that is going to take place uh, later this year in December uh, by different uh, countries, including those that are not uh, members of, of IORA, but dialogue partners, but they have resources and, and assisting to do research and find out what lies at the bottom of the Indian Ocean. Um, so this, our importance in IORA is that, as you know, our president have launched the local part of IORA, which is the Pakisa, which is called Pakisa, the blue economy, the ocean economy that focuses on areas that we discuss about uh, in Ayora, in Mauritius, uh, fisheries and aquaculture, renewable ocean energy, seaport and shipping, as well as seabed exploration and minerals. And these are the these are the issues that we're debating here locally, but by being part of Ayora, uh, it will strengthen what we're doing in the country. And I think what is more important also is, um, as South Africa, we will be chairing, we'll be taking the vice chair today. I mean, we'll be taking the vice chair this year up to 2017 and from 2017 to 2019 we will be the chair and that creates opportunity to be in the center of a very important uh, term where there's an exploration um, to the indian ocean by many many countries uh, for five years and this for us will be used to capacitate um, areas that we really need capacitation, uh, research, um, expertise, as well as science and technology. So South Africa definitely will take part um, with one or two vessels in the expedition itself. And that expedition will start uh, on the 4th of December uh, by a boat that would be launched from India to Mauritius. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the, the next issue is our visit uh, to the Republic of Iran. Um, this visit comes as we have a long-standing relationship with Iran. We have bilateral at both deputy ministers level as well as the minister at a minister's level there's a joint commission uh, which take place uh, May this year. It was a 12th joint commission, which means we have a long, long standing uh, arrangement with them. Uh, this was, uh, our visit was uh, bilaterals that was due at uh, the level of deputy ministers looking at the progress that was done at a joint commission and preparing for another joint commission that would be held uh, later this year by the ministers. Um, it was an ex a very successful uh, meeting. Uh, South Africa and Iran enjoy cooperation across uh, different fields, including arts and culture, agriculture, education, and health, and, and, and the potential for expansion on many other areas is, is, is there. And as South Africa, we consider Iran to be an important friend and partner, and recognize the important role Iran assumes 
regionally and internationally within the global governance and multilateral architecture. Um, from there, we also visited uh, Bangladesh and Nepal. And here really is a, a question of South Africa being amongst the developing countries um, and interacting with those countries, whether they are big or small, and having a relationship with them. In particular, the fact that also they have their embassies in, in, in South Africa. Uh, here, both Bangladesh and Nepal are faced with, we are faced with common challenges of poverty and unemployment. We work together in multilateral forums to jointly address some of these common challenges. And with Bangladesh, our relationship was established in 1994. And, you know, this country has been identified as a country with enormous potential for the expansion of trade and economic relations. Uh, their economic growth is 6.4% uh, for the current fiscal year. And Bangladesh continues to be a partner of South Africa in multilateral organizations such as United Nations uh, and its agency, the Commonwealth, Non-Aligned Movement, um, and of course the Indian Ocean Rim Association. So even if our relationship is not about economic diplomacy, uh, we, we build relationship with uh, different countries. Um, here we met with the Secretary of Foreign Affairs as well as Chairperson of Parliamentary Standing Committee, amongst others uh, things we share views on sustaining democratic rule and human rights, reform of global institution of governance and sustainable development. In Nepal, we visited uh, the country and here, you know, we went to underscore our continued uh, commitment uh, to assist countries that ask our assistance, in particular in peace building. In, in Nepal, more than anything, we're dealing with them because they are, besides the very negative uh, disaster that happened, which South Africa assisted uh, through the gift, uh, gift of the givers, um, Nepal is still experiencing you know, the constitutional making, uh, they were in the war for many years, they've established um, TRC, and they really the relationship there is about their request asking South Africa to assist in, in, in developing peace in that country, which is what we're doing.